Hello, Gary Hernandez here, and welcome to Cane Self-Defense with Master Gary Hernandez. Today, we're going to talk accuracy with your cane, and I'm going to show you a drill that'll help you work accuracy. Now, I have a little device that I've had for about 18 years. I got it from Century Martial Arts. They quit making this. <clears throat> now, this is not for what I use it for. I'll show you what it's really used for, and I'll tell you how I work it with the cane. They don't make it anymore, so I'm going to show you how you can make your own for nothing. They came out with this back in around two, the year 2000, 2001. Century Martial Arts created this. It's called the All-Star Targeting System. Little plastic piece, put standard water in it with a cord with a, basically, it's a ping pong ball painted red. And it adjusted to different heights from six foot five to three foot. It was made for targeting for flexibility and accuracy in your kicks. I just use it now for the cane as well as our students. Now, <clears throat> they don't make it anymore, and if they did, you wouldn't have to waste the money anyway. Buy a basic ping pong, box of ping pong balls, and drill a hole in them, run it a cord or fishing line, and hang it up at a from a beam. Or if you're outside, tie it to a tree, or if you have a uh, chit up or a pull up bar, tie it there. And you can simply adjust the cord for the height that you want, because I'm going to show you the drills. Now, <clears throat> can you use a tennis ball? Before somebody asks me, absolutely. I recommend a ping pong ball for a lot of reasons. Number one, it's smaller, it's going to help more in accuracy. Number two, if it does break off the cord, um, if you're using fishing line, it probably won't, but if it does break off that, it's not going to tear nothing up in your house. Number three, if you destroy it, it's a ping pong ball. You know, Think about when people used to learn to drive in their garage, they would hang the ball so it would touch the windshield of the car so they needed to stop. Same concept, so you want to hang it. Now the drills I do are pretty simple. I'm going to show you slowly and then you can always create it your own and have fun with it. I put it to about my ear level first. And I simply, from here I work, smacking. And you can pick up the speed and intensity. And I'll simply come on this side and work, smacking. Now if you notice the difference in that, the first smack was a pretty accurate hit because the ball did that. Second one wasn't as accurate. It caught the ball, but ripped into the cord a bit because it moved the entire thing. And you're going to see, hit, even though you don't have this, when you hit the cord versus the ball, you're going to know it. So that helps you with accuracy. Then I'll lower it down to about my chin level, and I'll simply work striking up to the chin. Then I'll lower it down to where someone's reaching with their hands. And I'm simply going to simply work smacking them in the fingers. Can I come down on their fingers? Absolutely. Just you're likely coming down slightly to pull your cord more. Then I'll lower it to, and you can even lower it to the groin and smack into the groin area. But then I'll lower it to my solar plex. And what I'll do is I'll work striking with my crook. And then I get a little more difficult while working, hitting it with my tip. And the same thing, if you hit it just right, you're gonna hear it. If you don't hit it just right, hit the, or miss it and hit the um, string, you're gonna see the difference. Then I'll raise it back to about my throat area and I'll do the same thing again. Come in, work like that, or make it harder and work the tip. If you wanna make it really interesting, you're moving around, you got it moving around and you're working, oh, I missed it and then I'll hit it. So you can work all kinds of fun drills with it. <clears throat> again, Experiment, have fun, set it up however you want it. If you tear it up, it's just a ping pong ball. So you don't have to have this little gizmo. You can make your own for nothing, but it's gonna help with accuracy. It's a fun way to work accuracy. So get a chance, set it up, have fun with it, and get creative. Just a good way to work accuracy, and I'm talking pinpoint accuracy. So hopefully that helps. Uh, if you get an opportunity and you happen to go on YouTube, subscribe to our channel also, which is uh, Kane Self-Defense with Master Gary Hernandez, if you can, subscribe to that. Also have Gary Hernandez uh, Self-Defense and the RDT, or Gary Hernandez Martial Arts and the RDT System of Self-Defense. We have that one as well. Again, have fun, create it, make it your own. Hopefully that helps, and I will talk to you guys very soon, and thank you.